Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group and check out this website also where you can find so many project ideas with live version, proper flow, diagram and APIs and documentation and all. So let's start with the video. So in this series, we are going to learn ReactJS. Now, this is the first episode where I will be explaining the what is like ReactJS, what is single page application, how do we do the setup for the ReactJS, how to create the project, basic things we are going to discuss. But before starting, in this series, like in the previous series, uh, I have completed an Angular tutorial that was mainly dedicated for the Angular. But this series will be more in English. Basically, it is English only. But just Indian also should understand those who feel comfortable in Hindi. So at the end of the video, I will be again summarizing everything, whatever I have explained in Hindi. So that you will also have a, the guys who are comfortable with native language. So they will also have a proper knowledge because rather than creating a series in English and again in Hindi, I'm, I will be choosing this approach. So mainly this will be in the English only. But again, try to learn the, uh, try to understand the English also, because whenever you are appearing for the interview, you have to explain in the English only. So unless you don't know the words or unless you don't hear those words for the related topics, how you are going to explain, correct? So for understanding, you can uh, revise, you can just go through the ending part also, but from the start, you just have to pay attention. Now, ReactJS, if we consider the market, ReactJS is having so many openings. Everyone knows like for Angular, we don't have that much opening, but if we compare React, we have little bit number of more openings. The reason is for React, yes, we have very less developers in the market. So that's why that opening is high. And specific to Angular, same means openings are more, but developers are also more because Angular is relatively very easy compared to React. Yes. It's very easy. If you have seen my series, so Angular is very easy. You don't have to actually learn TypeScript also to understand React, uh, understand Angular. Okay. But coming back to React, React, in React, we can work with JavaScript or TypeScript as well. Okay. So in React, we can work with JavaScript or TypeScript as well. So if you need to learn the React, you need to have an advanced concept very clear when it comes to JavaScript means arrow functions, spread operator, uh, destructuring, whatever the advanced things we have, ES6 feature, whatever the latest things we have, that should be very crystal clear. Again, we will come to TypeScript at the end. First, whatever, because in React, just that is just the topic. Language will be JavaScript or TypeScript, but React topic will be same. Doesn't matter what you, what language you select. React topic will be same. How you handle those topic? What are the topics we have? That is that will be same. Okay. Now, so HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Again, I will be using Bootstrap. If you are comfortable with Tailwind, you can use that also. Or simple CSS also is fine. Now, so the four major question like what is single page application? Benefits of React JS? How to install Node JS? And how to create the React JS project? These are the things which we are going to cover in this particular episode. Now, when we say single page application, so before Angular and React or Vue.js, there was no frameworks like that. So we just had a you know, PHP, Java, and .NET. In that technology, we used to build web application. So there we used to have multiple physical pages, multiple page-based application. Okay, let me just open an image. There you can understand. So earlier, we used to have a structure like this we will have a multiple page based application where we will have physical page one, page two, page three. And inside that, let's say we landed, uh, we created an application. So if we are on the page one, that page one application will be loaded onto the browser. And from page one, if we redirect to the page two, that page two will call from the server and then it will load in the browser. Again, in the page three, like that whole page used to get it from the server on request. This is what normal page application. If we have to see the example, just visit W3 school. This is an example of single multi, multiple page based application, the older approach. So see, currently we are on the bootstrap five page. Now let it load completely. Then I will try to navigate. 
let's stop it so currently we are in the bootstrap 5 page let's see if i click on the java now from bootstrap page i am trying to navigate to the java page so just pay attention over here see server we have called another page so request goes to the server and that another page will come to the browser again if we go to the php again see it is reloading so this is multiple page based application so at a request Whatever the page you have requested, request will go to the server. That physical page will load to your browser. So this was in the previous when there was no single page application framework. Now let's go back to the image. Now single page application. So in single page application, we will just have a single page. One HTML page will be there. And inside that HTML page, single HTML page, we will have a div. And in that div, our content will be loaded dynamically means just the UI part. So your page won't reload just the part of the template means let's say you have a div and you make that div as a parent div. So in that div, your content will load based on the request. Let's say you have a navigation over here. And if you click on the about page, this template will load. If you click on the contact page, this template will load template as in UI. So you won't have a separate pages. But it will look like, like you are navigating from one page to another. But in ideal, you will just have a single page. And in that single page, UI is just getting created dynamically. So that is the difference between single page and the multiple page based application. So Angular, React, Vue.js, these are the framework which works on the single page application technology. Correct? So again, just to clarify, this is also a C. Uh, multiple pages page based application you will have multiple pages but in single page you will have just a single page just the ui will be dynamically creating on the request fine now let's move ahead so these are the various this is the excel i have just created uh, if you see in react if you follow any tutorial means when i start when i i wanted to learn react whatever the tutorial we have in the YouTube, I tried like no tutorial is there, which has at least hundred videos. So if you know JavaScript or if you learn, if you know the Angular, na, it, this series will be very helpful to you. And it will be very easy to understand React because with the limited number of episodes, I will be trying to complete all the basic thing, which by which you will be able to clear the interview at least. Okay. If you are an Angular developer, it is very helpful to have an extra language in your bucket because that will increase your chances. Companies are looking for the employees who knows Angular and React as well. Because you can work on any technology, correct? Let's say they have an Angular project now. Once the Angular project, if you know the React, they can shift you to the React as well. Otherwise, you get uh, pushed onto the bench, right? So it's always to have a two technology in your hand, correct? Now, so first of all, the basic setup. So by now, in almost like... Uh, if you are an Angular developer in your system, you will have Node.js already installed. But just to cover, so first thing, you need to install the Node.js. So what you need to do, just simply search Node.js, open the first site. You will have a download Node.js button over here. Just click on it. It will start the download. I In my system, I already have it. Around 25 MB is there. Once you open it, you it is just a normal software. You just click on next, next, next. Okay, and your Node.js will be installed. Now, how do you check like Node.js is installed or not? So just open the command prompt and try npm hyphen v. This is to check like if Node.js is installed or not. So in my system, it is saying like 10.2.3. In your system, it version might be something else. Doesn't matter. Any version will work. Fine. Now. So first requirement, you need to have a Node.js. So once you download the Node.js and install it, after that, you can create the project. Now, so those who are not uh, familiar with, uh, those who are just familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So React is a framework. So in React, we create the project. Project will have certain number of files. Some setup files will be there. Okay, some starting files will be there, some CSS configuration files will be there because it is just a project. In HTML, we used to create multiple pages. A single, single page was used to be there, but it's a project. So we have to create the project. We have to run it. We cannot use that. We cannot open particular page in the browser directly. Now, so how do we create the project? So one more site is there. 
create react app just simply search create react app so you will get this site if you visit this you will get all the commands whatever that are there by which you can start just a basic site is there which will help you to guide the basic setup so here you can see we can create project by two ways either using npx or by using npm also see here if i click on npm so this is how you create the project by using npm let me just copy so this is by using npm and on one more way is there by using npx this there are two ways to create the project so you might be familiar with npm or npx doesn't matter these are the commands okay now let's try to create the project so let's go with npx so you can just go to your any folder wherever you want to create the project so i'm just creating a new folder so you can also do the same react js tutorial so i have created a folder now inside this folder i have to create the project so i have to open a command prompt over here so you, what you can do you can click over in the address bar and write cmd over here either you can do this or you can open the folder in vs code there also you can do the same thing fine now i will just paste the command so npx then create hyphen react hyphen app then this is your project name whatever the project name you want to give you can give that so i am giving the name react js hyphen tutorial enter so what i'm going to do i am trying to create a project so command is npx create hyphen react hyphen app react js tutorial now based on the internet speed it will take some time for the if you are installing it for the first time it will install an additional package that also will be taken care while creating the first time project so this is the command which will create the project now so here you can see react js hyphen tutorial folder is created so currently project creation is in progress so only package dot package dot json is file is created once this process completes then you will get to see the whole project fine it will take some time let me just pause the video for now or let's wait now it will take time so let me just pause again i will restart now if you can see node module folder got created public folder src folder so whole project file got created so let's just give it a time again i think it is installing something so whenever you are creating project for the first time it will take time now you can see everything is installed i think let it complete now you can see after project successfully installed it is showing like some commands right now so this is the project now let's open this project so our project in this folder now you can just open a new visual studio code new window now i have to open this particular folder make sure you are properly opening the folder most of the guys will uh, mistake while opening the folder and you won't be able to run the project also if you don't open the folder properly so our folder is react js tutorial so this is the folder and this is our project so you need to select this folder and then click on the select folder so this is the right way you need to open your particular project folder fine first folder in your open folder you should be your node model now let me just zoom a little bit so that i can show you the folders now you can see this is the initial this is the project basic project now i will just explain like what are the files we have or what we can do uh, i will create a separate episode for project files explanation now i will just try to run the project so this is how you open the project now how do you run the project so here you can go and open a new terminal either you can do from over here this will open the pop up over here or let me just close this or in the bottom also you can see these are the icons if you click over here same pop up will open and you just have to navigate over here fine so the project we have opened properly now how do we run the project so we have command npm start enter so by typing this you are just compiling your project okay so again i repeat this is a project so you have to run it you have to compile it 
whatever the word you are familiar with, either you can say run or compile. It's actually compiling. It will compile and it will host the project on the particular 3000 port. So you can see this is the default page what we get when we run the project. Just the default project we have created. We have not created any component or anything. Just the basic project is there and we have run that. Once you successfully uh, run the project, this page should be there. Fine. So this is all thing we have covered. In the next episode, we will start by topic by topic. So these are the various topics we have. So whatever the sequence is there, which will be helpful for us to understand React properly, that sequence I will follow, starting with component, event handling, how do we create the variable, state, and everything. Fine. Uh, dynamic UI, dynamic style, dynamic class, how do we add it, forms, forms validation, API integration. And finally, we will be com completing a basic project. Fine. So if you are new, Please do like and subscribe. Now I will just revise us shortly in Hindi. So React is a technology that is Angular, React, or Vue.js. These parallelly three technologies are running. These three technologies work single page application. Pe kaam karti hai. Jaise maine bola ki single page application means that our one HTML ka page will remain, and in that HTML ke page, in one div, the whole application will be loaded. पेज हमारा रीरेंडर नहीं होगा बट लाइक मल्टी पेज एप्लीकेशन में क्या होता था फिजिकल फिजिकल हमारे डिफरेंट पेजेस क्रिएट होते थे ओके सो सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन हम में हमारा एक ही पेज रहेगा दैट इज अबाउट सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशन अब रिएक्ट जेस के लिए इंटरलो इंप्लीमेंटेशन के लिए क्या लगता है सो so, सबसे पहले ये सॉफ्टवेयर लगेगा नोड जेस सो यहां पे क्लिक करके इंस्टॉल कर लो सिंपल सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉलेशन है जस्ट क्लिप जस्ट कीप ऑन क्लिपिंग नेक्स्ट 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 एक दो चेक बॉक्स होंगे उनको चेक करो आपका नोड जेस इंस्टॉल हो जाएगा नोड जेस इंस्टॉल हुआ है कि नहीं ये कैसे चेक करोगे npm hyphen v ये चेक करोगे अगर वर्जन प्रॉपर्ली आ रहा है मतलब नोड जेस इंस्टॉल हो चुका है वंस यू इंस्टॉल द नोड जेस आपको क्या करना है प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट करना है सो प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट करने के लिए जैसे मैंने एक फोल्डर क्रिएट किया यहां पे आपको या फिर राइट क्लिक करो ओपन इन टर्मिनल करो तो भी आपका कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट ओपन हो जाएगा वन एंड द सेम थिंग या फिर डायरेक्टली इस पे क्लिक करो एड्रेस बार पे सीएमडी टाइप करो आपका कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट ओपन हो जाएगा वो पर्टिकुलर फोल्डर पे फिर आपको प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट करना है तो प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट करने के लिए ये कमांड है आइदर एनपीएक्स ले सकते हो या फिर एनपीएम भी ले सकते हो सो एनपीएक्स क्रिएट हाइफन रिएक्ट हाइफन एप फिर आपके प्रोजेक्ट का नाम प्रोजेक्ट के नाम में कैपिटल नहीं चाहिए हाइपन चलेगा ठीक है ये बेसिक रूल्स होते हैं जैसे आप अगर आपने कुछ रॉन्ग डाला तो वो वहीं पे एरर दिखा देगा ठीक है सो ये जैसे माय ऐप है तो ये आपका प्रोजेक्ट का नाम है इसके जगह आप प्रोजेक्ट का नाम दो एंटर दो एंटर देने के बाद आपका प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट हो जाएगा जैसे हमारा ये प्रोजेक्ट एंटर हुआ था सो आपको नया विजल स्टूडियो कोड ओपन करना है ओपन करते वक्त आपको फोल्डर ओपन करना है तो ये पर्टिकुलर फोल्डर सिलेक्ट करके ओपन करो क्योंकि ये आपका प्रोजेक्ट है ठीक है ये आपका प्रोजेक्ट नहीं है ये जस्ट आपका फोल्डर है इस फोल्डर के अंदर ये आपका प्रोजेक्ट है तो ये फोल्डर सिलेक्ट करो फोल्डर ओपन होने के बाद आपको प्रोजेक्ट रन करना है सो प्रोजेक्ट रन करने के लिए नया टर्मिनल ओपन करो यहाँ से टॉप मेनू से भी आप न्यू टर्मिनल ओपन कर सकते हो या फिर यहाँ पे क्लिक करके प्लस पे भी क्लिक कर सकते हो प्रोजेक्ट रन करने के लिए एनपीएम स्पेस स्टार्ट और एंटर ये जैसे ही करोगे आपका प्रोजेक्ट रन होगा और रन होके बाय डिफॉल्ट फोर्ट सॉरी थ्री डबल जीरो पोर्ट पर रन होता है ये पोर्ट भी आप चेंज कर सकते हो लेकिन आगे जाके हम देखेंगे ठीक है so this is uh, the summary of first episode in next episode hum component aur ye sari cheeze topic by topic hum dekhenge thank you